go. I'm going to remove all the screws from the bottom. Remove the memory cover. Remove the memory. Unplug the sound cable that will be screwed inside here. Try to lid, pull the lid open. Okay, to insert the card, we're going to have to remove this plate here. There's two screws. Then you're going to have to remove the plate that secures plastic that secures all the cables underneath the hard drive. Three screws. Back. Then you're going to have to remove this little bracket that holds the bottom of the laptop. And you're going to have to remove the plastic cover so you can install this part. You can use a knife for that or a screwdriver. You're not going to reuse that part, so. the hole. Mm, should fit there. Secure the ribbon under on the edge of the laptop. This will connect it here. Then you want to install the card. It's easy if you plug the cable first. This cable gets plugged right under here. You want to run under the ribbon. I'm going to insert this into the hole. Make 
sure your cables are under it. Just install the card. Don't need to put the screws yet because you need to pass this under the battery hard drive connector. I always loosen up the hard drive connector. If your cable comes off, just remember to plug it in before you're done putting everything apart together. can lightly lift this, don't lift too much, but can lift up a little bit, pass this under it. Be careful not to disconnect your mouse. Once you pass this through, the cable got disconnected, we're going to connect the cable again. That is one little screw that you receive in your package black one. Just, that is two fitting spots there, just make sure you fit that in there. Then you're going to connect this to your system board. There's a connection right out next to the power adapter. If you have a Pentium M1.6, it will be under the the plastic connector next to the SD slot. Just lift this up, goes up, connect the cable. Press down. Back into place. Put your screw back in. So be easier. This is hard done. Oh, put the key back in. There's a spot for your bracket here. Better connect right in. You need to remember to put this back that it goes like this. And there is a little pin that that'll fit right on top of it. Then you screw your bracket in there. Okay. Wrong screw. Be a small one. Okay. Just align. It'll be the silver one. Just make sure you align perfect there. And this is other bracket that'll go on the outside. It'll fit right in. There's two little grooves. And you use the silver screws. going to turn connect this to here Just connect it in. I'm going to run this cable You want to run on the outside because the media drive will be here. You don't want to run or you can get stuck in your media drive. Try to make go around the memory on the outside casing. And you're going to connect to the board. Back here. 
if you have your modem or your uh, Wi-Fi connect to it you can connect your Wi-Fi to there is another pin inside you can disconnect your Wi-Fi and connect that one and connect the Wi-Fi on, on the bottom one I'm going to put this plate back so you have three small chub screws now you can connect your, your cover that is slight has a bump And just go. Just make sure you fit the card in. And those are two screws that you remove from your casing should fit right in there. And in your packaging, you should have receive a long screws that goes in the middle. and that'll hold the card in place. Should have your number for the Verizon right there. You want to write down that number on a piece of paper to get your Verizon activated. Yeah. Now let's put the cover back. Don't forget to plug in your speakers or you're going to have no sound and you don't know why. Your memory. One big screw there. bigger screws for the outside of the case the little ones there. Small one goes in here. You think it's a big one, but it's going to be a small one. Then it has an extra piece. If you don't have on your computer, you may want to purchase separate to cover the gap. It's a plastic with a screw. You're all set with your wireless.